Swedish summer, the best day of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Roger and my channel is about being a musician and all things surrounding a musician. And today we have rehearsed a little bit and done a sound check outside with our musical show. We've done four shows inside of the theater with this show, but now we're gonna go on a short tour around this county. I think the most problem is the light. How do you handle the lights when it's this bright? <laughs> uh any way I like, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, there's no visual difference uh, when the sun hits the stage, it's the sun that is dominating yeah, everything. But even the evenings are pretty bright in Sweden this time of yes, year. Yes, they are. Are we gonna do a sound check every day? I think so. Yeah, because it's different places. Different places, yeah. Yeah. How much do you change? Uh, not very much. Uh, some EQ on the PA. Yeah. Because it's different places that maybe walls yeah. in one place walls. and maybe a forest in another place. Exactly. Okay. Grass and asphalt sound different. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We have come to the first place of our tour. Let me show you around. So this is just back of the stage. This is a mobile stage, but they have done a backstage area anyway. We have some clothes for changing for the actors and uh, just some technique, wireless microphones and stuff like that away from the stage. Perfect. And just back of the stage there's a small tent. In the tent there's only a dress at the moment which one of the actors, yeah a guy, one of the actors wears in a number on the stage. We don't need so much technique on this performance, but the technicians have a place of their own here, so here's where the sound and the lighting is mixed. Was it easy to set up the stage? Yeah, fairly easy. Uh, How, long, the weather was How nice. long time did it take? Uh, it took us uh, three hours. Three hours, including te technique? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. This is the stage. It's a little bit messed up right now because of, there's a lot of clothes on it. But that's just because it's prepared for us already by the stage manager. Hello. Lars Peter. Hello. How do you feel? I feel myself <laughs> very well. <laughs> Cheers. And on the second day of our tour, we ended up at some kind of museum. Some guy that have collected a lot of things. So for example, we have a phone booth 
from what I understand, he collected a lot of things from different parts of the world. Some people collect stamps or coins, maybe, or something like that. This guy collected, like, everything. Trains. Airplanes. Interesting. This is the third gig on our tour. We're gonna do four gigs, different places every time. And today it's been raining. It's raining a little bit right now, actually. Not so much that it bothers us, I think. But just half an hour ago, that was pouring down. A typical day for us is that, well, first we sleep and sleep as good as we can because sleep is the most important thing to keep the concentration the whole day. The technicians, they go early so they can set up everything. The stage, the PA, the sonography, everything. So everything is prepared for us when we arrive. Our hard work has already been done. That was when we wrote the script for this play, arranged it and rehearsed it. That took about one and a half months. One and a half months to do a one and a half hour show. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? How do you prepare yourself when in the raining. day for a show like this? Today, I've been swimming to get warm in my body and to get my breathing organs to move. And uh, I also had a power nap afterwards. We that are on stage, we arrive probably about two hours before the show. See, so we have everything, the clothes, and look at the stage and the surroundings, where we can change. <laughs> and uh, one hour before the show, we have a short sound check, just to see that everything works and sort of get ready for the show. Everyone has their own thing, some like to change and be prepared hours before the show. I like to do the opposite. I like to do it as close to the show as possible. day of this tour and I have to change the location of my car because I don't know where to get into this place it has been raining a lot today and maybe it will rain more we don't know but hopefully we can do the show anyway as long as as it's not windy and rain at the same time we will do the show we are at a museum museum outdoors with like old buildings and churches and all kinds of things and on the square of that museum Eleven o'clock. Yeah. And when when you finished uh, yeah. rigging up and setting up the stage and everything. Uh, 
two o'clock approximately. Show Three hours. Me. That's yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Was we it wet? We went very fast because was of the it rain. Wet? Yes, it was very wet. <laughs> Welcome no to Sweden. Sweat, no sweat, only wet. Welcome to Sweden. Yeah. One of the technicians gave me a gift now when it's the last gig and we're not gonna see each other for a while. So <laughs> I got a hat, but it's not just a hat. Uh, this is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, Roger that hat. I got one too. And uh, the other technician also got one. This uh, uh, a no no is also a kind of service. No is also a kind of service, and that applies maybe mostly to the technicians, where people ask them for everything, every time. But no is also a service. Awesome, isn't it? Roger that hat. I'm so happy. Thank you for watching. That was a bit behind the scenes of our tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you did. The Swedish word of today is tour. Tour in Swedish is turnier. Turnier. Until next time, Roger that.